Okay, let's have a look at weapons in detail. So again, you're really going to want to have a printout of the character sheet. Go to the website, you can get that um, to see the details because the YouTube video may not show that up too well. Um, so all attack actions or attack rolls, except for stealth, are made with a weapon. So your mind can be used for analytical attacks or a psychic limbs for is like a melee grapples and things. But then you got um, purchase weapons, which can be guns and oral swords and things like that as well. Um, let's have a look through each of these sections just really quickly. So the first thing here, that's where you put your name, you know, the rifle, pistol, what have you. Um, hit. That is the bonus to your to hit roll. So your three d six will be plus that, um, and also if you've got a skill related to that, like the right weapon type, and like a pistol is a small arm, then you would add that, and that determines whether you hit your opponent or not. Um, end damage is your endurance damage, that's whenever you hit your opponent, that you automatically do that much endurance damage. Crit damage, that's how much attribute damage you do with a critical hit, and you score critical hits by spending sixes, strong hits, on those, and that's how you kill people by doing attribute damage there. Um, range, so that's the range increment of your weapon. So we went through that in the attack roll video. So that's measured in increments. So let's say you're range three, so that would be three, and three, then three, then three. Your first increment, no penalties, but then negative two, then negative four, then negative six to your attack rolls. Um, clips and ammunition, so ammo and clips. So ammo is the amount of shots that you've got before you need to reload, and clips is the amount of reloads that you can do. So let's say you've got a weapon with four ammo and two clips, so that will be eight attacks. It's four shots and you reload and four shots, and that's both of your clips used up. Um, load, so this will usually just be one or two. This is the amount of recovery actions here need to be spent to draw your weapon or to reload your weapon or to unjam your weapon. So if you've got a pistol and it's load one, um, so you've got two actions per turn, you spend your first action to draw it and then your second action you can shoot it. Whereas like a load two rifle, for your turn, you would spend both of your actions drawing your weapon, then you would shoot, and then it would take you two actions to reload it. Um, quite important, as that can slow you down in combat quite a lot. Then in rate of fire, we covered this again in the attack roll um, video. So that can give you additional dice to your attack roll, so you can roll more than just your base three. Um, also that you'll find in the book, most ammo is calculated off your rate of fire. So let's say your rate of fire two and your amount of ammo you get is rate of fire times two, so that would have four. You can see that in the book. Now weight, this is determined how heavy and big your item is. So if your weight one item, it's one handed. If it's weight two or more, then it is two handed. Um, also, that is the amount of strength required to wield the whip weapon efficiently. If your weight is higher than your strength, then you will become overburdened. So each thing is added up individually, not combined. So if you've got two items of weight two, it's not weight four, it's weight two, and you've got a strength of one um, then and a weight two weapon, then that would give you minus one um, to your defense, which is what overburden does. Um, type and variations. So your weapon type determines what actions you can perform. So with this weapon, so if you've got a gun, then you can perform, perform snapshot, spray fire, sighted shot, or overwatch, but you cannot throw and you cannot analyze and you cannot stealth with this weapon and you cannot do melee attacks. Whereas if a weapon is melee type, then you can perform from this category. And all those details are in the book. Um, variations, so in a later video, I'm gonna show you how to construct a weapon and that determines whether it's like a laser weapon um, or a particle or it's like a bio weapon. Um, 
So you select what type it is, um, what variation it is. Cost, this is usually determines how many resources that weapon costs. Um, and we covered this in the progression video, but let's say you've got three resources. You don't spend them, you distribute them. And let's say you purchase a weapon for two and you purchase armor for one. You lose your weapon. You do not lose these two. You can merely just redistribute them to a new weapon or you can shake it up. That's the amount of upkeep your weapon costs. Some weapons will cost a spare time point. Um, and they don't require resources at all, they just require a roll to acquire. And that's often like a small, cheap um, pistol or something like that. Down here, you've got an area for notes and keywords. Each weapon will have um, a list of um, keywords that will go with it. Um, so, for example, is it a biotech weapon or an energy weapon? And that can affect other modifications you can have. Then down here, you've just got a place to track your used ammunition and... Uh, clips so just use a pencil for that and that's a quick rundown of how weapons work in a later video I'll show you how to make a weapon